How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video here today. I am in Idaho at, well there's a little creek here, but over behind me that way is the Snake River. And we are here in eastern Idaho, gonna be fishing for trout. The river dynamic has changed a lot since I was last here. You know, every year with um, higher water levels, the river shape can change and stuff. So everything from what I saw from driving in from above looked way different than it usually does. See if we can catch some good fish today. We're gonna be doing a catch and cook too. Gonna not cook them here because I don't have a, a stove to cook them with, but at home we'll cook them on the stove. Ooh. I'll take a cast like right over here. You see this like this spot right here where it's like there's some calm water right here in front of me, but then there's some ripples there. There'll be fish that'll hang out around there. Just right on the edge there. Throw this guy let's sink for a sec and just do a steady, steady retrieve. So this is more like a scouting day because my buddy and your favorite fisherman, Fishing with Adam, is coming up this next weekend. And I came out today to kind of scout it out to see what the river looks like to find the good holes and all the good stuff, you know? Yeah, look at this. This is all different. I'll show like a little video or picture of what I'm used to this, look, this spot looking like. This looks like a very good fishing spot right here. This is a death trap right here. You gotta be very careful because that is just ice right there. Okay, so I tied on this lure right here. This is a, oh, fish rose right there. This is perfect. This is a silver J spec from Dynamic Lures, and it is beautiful working. Put that thing out there. Now we're just gonna jerk this thing along. Got one. Gotta tighten my drag. Oh, he came off, dang it. Oh, my drag was way too loose. Dang it. Yeah, that was way too loose. I couldn't keep the pressure on him very well. That's a good sign though. Well, there, well there's one, there'll be more, for sure. There is brown trout, mainly. That is the main fish in this river. There's also rainbow trout, cutthroat trout, cutthroat trout and rainbow trout hybrid called cutbows. The other trout species, I believe there's bold, oh, right in front of me. Oh my gosh. He came up, followed it and just smacked it. He didn't grab, he didn't get a hold of it though. That was insane. I don't know if the camera caught that. Probably didn't. I gotta lower this thing a little bit more. See if he comes back for it. He didn't get hooked or anything. I didn't even feel him. So I know for the next time Adam and I come here, we need to come to this spot. Yeah, that fish is... Oh, oh, there was one. Oh my gosh. I saw this dark shadow. He was following it, but then he didn't really commit to it. He was just kind of like curious in it and he turned away at the last second. Oh, oh, there it was. Oh, he came to flash at it. He flashed at it though. He didn't, he didn't eat it. He just kind of came up and flashed out. I didn't even feel him. It looks like it's held pretty sturdy. Let's see. Hey, yeah. Oh yeah, we're good. Hey, yeah, let's go. This looks beautiful right here. There's a nice slack water here next to the ripples. If I were a fish, this right here is where I would hang out. There's an old saying out there, 
when you're fishing in a river, find the foam, foam in its home, right there. Let's get a cast right over there. See what we can get. Got one. First cast. First cast, gotta keep the tension on him. Oh yeah. Awesome. Oh, that looks like, what kind is that? I have no idea what kind of fish this is. Oh, it's a brown trout, for sure. Gotta wet my hand here. My hand's wet, so I'll just grab a hold of this guy. There we go, guys. Our first fish of the day, right there, on the J-spec. Let's keep this guy. Whatever. Just, and it'll stay nice and cool for us. There we go. Good stuff, eh? Man, this thing looks so good in the water. Like, look at that. Look at that thing dart around. Like, it just looks amazing in the water. If you want to get yourself some dynamic lures, I will leave the link to their website in the description. When you're fishing one spot, just change up your retrieve from time to time. Sometimes I want it slower, sometimes I want it faster. It's good to just change it up a bit. And eventually you'll trigger one to strike, usually. Not every time. You, sometimes fish just won't want what you're throwing. That guy did. Oh, on the pause. That was a smaller one. I was literally not even reeling. There's one. Oh, that, that's a better fish. That is a better fish. Oh yeah, that's a better fish right there. I told you guys, if I just stayed in this area and kept fishing, eventually another one would probably bite it. He looks better. Oh, he's a lot thicker. Actually, mm, he actually might be, he's a lot more colorful. Look at that guy. I wanna get a picture of this guy though. So before I could even take a picture of that fish, he popped off the lure. When I came back over, he was fighting a bit and then he just popped off. My goal next week is to catch something over 20 inches, 20 inches or more. Cause they, there are big fish in this river. They're just hard to come by. They'll hang out in like deep pools, under undercuts, hiding in places, just waiting. There was a fish right there. Okay, good sign. So I'm gonna cast, cast right there. Okay. So I'm gonna work this thing right past where that fish was. See if he'll go for this. Probably won't, but it's always a chance that it will. I definitely want to hit that. Oh, right in front of me. Oh my God. That is a good fish. Good one. Oh my gracious. He shot. Ah. Man, I wish I was facing that, but I guess he just shot out of nowhere and grabbed. That is a nice fish too. Holy cow, look at that. That is a good good fish right there guys look at that should we keep him i don't know what do you guys think i think we're gonna let him go i do want to grab my tape measure real quick because i want to see how big he is there we go we are looking at 16 and a half inch fish right there 16 and a half inches all right we can we're gonna let this guy go. Even though some of you would be like, no, hold on to him. He's too big. He's too big for me to keep. There he goes. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. Now he definitely shot out of the depths for that thing. Out of the depths. I'm just, I've just been burying my retrieve. So I wanna show you guys like what I'm doing. So jerk, jerk, pause, 
and you want to get some twitches on slack line. When you're fishing it fast, it doesn't really matter, but there's a fish. Right as I'm teaching you guys how to fish these things, we get a fish, and it's a smaller one too. Maybe he's just spinning in circles. He's literally just spinning in circles. <laughs> That's the size I'm looking for to keep too. Look at that, right there, another one. Bonk him over the head real quick. I won't. There's our two boys right there. Dynamic lures, guys. It's the way to go. I love this thing. It's got a really realistic color to it and pattern on it, which I really like. So it looks a lot like a fish that would be in this river. This looks like just like a bigger minnow, I guess, or like a small baby trout. That's what's kind of imitating. I'll show you guys real quick right here what it, it is. So we got here. It's got like this really nice black top, the silver sides, this little red in the, gi the red spot in the gills to make it look like actual gills. And it's got a really shiny like rainbow like tint to it here. And it flashes really well on the bottom, especially if that's like that and there's any reflection that hits it, it's gonna reflect down and hit those fish that are on the bottom and they'll see that flash from down below and shoot up at it. And these hooks are razor sharp. This thing dives about I don't know, anywhere, it gets to about four to five feet. I think sometimes it can go deeper, but in a river like this, about a four to five foot depth is pretty darn what you, good for what you want. Oh, shoot dang. I just saw, uh, and it's kind of spooked. Oh, there's a fish right there. Oh my gosh, there is a brown trout or something right there. Oh, there's more. Yeah, I spooked like a school of like four bigger fish right in front of me right there. And there's one chilling right there. There's fish hugging this side of the pool. I didn't know it got that deep. There's, oh my gosh, there's like five fish right there. I didn't cast them from up here. Can't get any depth, but look at this. Oh man, this is great. Nice big eddy here, see some deep water. Over there would be good too. Across the bridge. If I catch a fish, I'm gonna go back and grab my stuff and come back over here. I was just at that bridge. As you guys know, we're walking down this way, back in the direction we came from. And hit up a couple spots and then probably head back. And also, like I said, scout day for next week for when Adam comes. Yeah, just a little tip for you guys. Okay, I decided to stop here. Just cause remember how I saw those fish? along here and this is that pole that's where I was catching them right here Ow. Yeah. almost rolled my ankle we'll just go up a little bit more this way just a little bit and the uh, rock fell in there's one Dang it. Alrighty guys, I think I'm gonna call it now. So we're just gonna go back to the car and then head home, eat, and then later tonight for dinner we'll do the catch and cook. So guys, I forgot to film myself cooking this trout. Here it is. So I filleted it and just put a bunch of butter, about actually about a tablespoon of butter, about that big, in the pan, let it melt, filleted the fish up on both sides, just put some, a mixture of garlic seasoning with pepper and salt on it, 
left the skins on, and just threw it on, flipped it over for a few times. Took about, I don't know, like five minutes to cook total, maybe a little bit more. And uh, it worked pretty well. Like, I mean, this right here, it like flakes off so well, and you can see that seasoning all on there. It's still steaming. Fantastic. So good.